You are getting ready to listen to the voice of Dr. Radi Ferguson, 2004 Olympian, four-time national judo champion, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, author, speaker, and coach. Having a discussion about practice today, some of the things that go on in terms of success in the training process. And I wanted to I wanted to leave you all with something, but I didn't want to leave while I'm going with this. So this this is the mountain. It's the mountain that you're climbing. We call it the, the success mountain. All right. At the top of the mountain is the what? Goal. The goal. Where are you? Um, on the left. On the left. Where am I? Um, Where are your friends and your family? Then the left. Now understand this. Okay? And it's not bad. Over here, there are a lot of people over here, right? A lot. There's a lot of people over here. Now, these people over here, they are at the what? The bottom of the map. They are general population people. At the fucking bottom of the mountain, they have bottom of the mountain conversation, they have bottom of the mountain thought processes, they have bottom of the mountain reasoning, they have bottom of the mountain skill set, they are bottom of the mountain people, and that's not bad, because understand where I am. I'm at the bottom of the mountain now too, right? But on the other what? Side. Which is different, because my thinking is not the same as over here. But a lot of people aren't over here, are they? No. But the people who are over here think the people who are over here are what? Crazy. Crazy. Off. Out of their what? Mind. Out of their minds. They don't know what they're what? Doing. Doing. They don't know what they're talking what? About. About. Because these people have no intention at all about going where? About. Now what they do is they talk about what? They are, listen, they are afraid. You know what they're afraid of? That slope. Afraid of falling. When you get, they're afraid of falling too. And when you get here, explain how your legs feel. They, they are horrible. Feel horrible. What else? On fire. They feel like they're on fire. Throbbing. They're throbbing. Now understand this: when your legs are throbbing, your heart feels like it's gonna come out of your chest. Your mouth is dry. There's no water down here. There's no food down here. There's none. None of that shit is down here. Now, as you go up that mountain, what are some of the things that can make your make your ability to scale that mountain easier? What makes it easier? Think about what that goal means. You, you can think, about, think about what you're gonna see on the other side. That. What else? Physically, what can you do to make this easier? Make it faster by running. Believe in yourself. Physically, what can you do to make that path of the mountain easier? You can lose some what? Weight. Now, this is why the Bible talks about laying aside every weight. Because the weight that you have to lose are these people down here. The thought processes from down here, and sometimes it's some physical weight from down here. But usually, the physical weight that you carry is a is a is a physical manifestation of what you think about and what is in your mind. Because guess what? When you were down here, people told you you were a cute kid, didn't they? Yes. They say, "Hannah, you were just fine. You don't have to worry about that stuff. Enjoy yourself." They give you another plate of food, didn't they? They would. They would, and they were and they were happy with you being fat, just like them. Now, when you start to eat a little bit differently, it makes, it feel bad. It makes who feel bad? Yeah. They, them, it's fuck them. Because let me tell you something. I, I love the whole family thing and all that shit, but let me tell you something. When you get ready to do this, fuck that shit. It is us and it is what? Yeah. Period. And if you don't get that, fuck it. Anybody who tells you different, fuck them. Because they don't know what they're talking about when it comes to this shit. I'm talking to you about this shit. 
I'm talking to you about the Olympic shit. I'm talking to you about the elite level shit. I'm talking to you about the .0000001% of the population shit. I'm not talking to you about the regular one in every three, one in every three black males who is in jail or is going to prison type shit. I'm talking to you as the black dude who's the PhD who went to the fucking Olympics. That guy. I'm that guy. I'm the one percenter. You're, you're around me because you want to be a one percenter too. And a point zero 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 one percent. Listen, and everything that I say, people aren't agree with. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. Ah, fuck you. I'm overwhelmed. I didn't did this shit already. I done vomited and passed out and got up at four in the morning and ran until my feet got blisters and put some Vaseline on, two pairs of socks to get my ass back out there and go again the next day. I've done that already. How many practices do we have around Christmas? Three. 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 What time? Four, twelve, and six. That's right. Three times a day on Christmas. Who agrees with that? I agree with that. I agree with it too. Most people don't agree with it. You know why? Because they're what? They're general population people. General population motherfuckers want to get up and have some hot fucking cocoa, open up their gifts, and hang around all fucking day, and that's cool. But don't force your general population shit on me. Now, every time you go up on this mountain, I will tell you that you're doing what? Good. Good. Because every time you get up that mountain, you're doing what? Good. However, once you stay here for a small period of time and you start hanging out, remember, also on this step are a lot of uh, other what? There's a lot of people over here too. And these people are the ones who they, they're satisfied because they, they went high enough. Fuck it, I did the master's degree, I'm good. I'm straight. You might be. This thinking is better than that thinking down there. The life up here is better than the life down there. The people up here, fuck it, they're better than the people down here. And fuck that shit about, oh, you think you're better than everybody else? Yes, I am better than everybody else. What the fuck? Why wouldn't I? Listen. First, second, third, right? How many spots are there? Three. There's three spots. How many spots are there for the best? Three. One. It's one spot. So the guy, the guy or the woman who was fighting at the beginning of the day was competing at the beginning of the day. What do they have to believe? They have to believe what? They have to believe that they have to believe that I am what? Better than what? Everybody else. Because at the end of the day, people are making a distinction of who is what? Better. Who is the best? Tennis player on the women's side ever. Who? That's Serena. Serena Williams. Can we argue it? No. Would you like to argue? No. Hey, who would you? Who, who, who are you going to say? Can you actually argue that point? No. no. Because she is the what? Who thought she was the best before anybody else? Her father. Her father. Her father, who was never over here, was one of the outliers over here. And everybody over here told him he was what? Crazy. Delusional. You understand what it's like being a delusional follower, don't you? Mm -hmm. Right. How about you? Yes. Right. Because let me tell you something. I want to give you. I want to tell you something about this world. Inspire. Inspire part. Where does that come from? What word is similar to that? No, spirit. I need to inspire you. 
Put spirit within you through what? Through my what? Words. Through my words. My words will inspire you and my words will encourage you. They will give you courage. They will give you spirit. They will help you through your what? Words. words. There are people down here who think that they're doing you a favor when they give it and say, hey man, eat another piece of pie, have another piece of cake. I mean, you listen, everything in moderation. Yeah. You, and listen, hit the snooze button and then get up in about 50 minutes when you collect yourself, get yourself together. Are they inspiring you? No. Are they encouraging you? No. But do they feel like they're helping you? Yes. And they're, are they genuine and they're, and they're, and they're, and they're helping? Yes. And they're thinking that they're they really believe that they're helping you. Yes. They, they, they really do. Here's what you need to understand. That over here, if I blow this up over here, there's a mountain over here too. And to them, they think they're doing good. And they, they've done some stuff in life that is of good repute, that is reputable. But if you tell them, Case in point, Navy SEALs, sitting down having a conversation with Navy SEALs. And they were talking at the table, and I told them, I said, I'm not impressed with any one of you motherfuckers. I said, you guys are fucking general population people who moved into special population, and you trained hard, did some cool shit. I said, I'm elite population. I said, that means no matter how fucking hard you train, you'll never be able to do what I do. Because I am just fucking different and just fucking better. One of the dudes at the table looked at me and says, I like that fucking guy. Because that's the truth. They're not taking, they're not taking Michael Phelps out of the fucking Olympics or fucking somebody from the, off the NFL field or somebody from the, the Olympics and moving them into the military. They're not doing that, are they? But there's a general population pool that they choose from and then they train through the general population pool. That's not the elite population pool. That, po that sample population is different from the elite level sample population. Different. That's just what it is. It's just different. But people over here do some cool shit. Cool shit. And there are some people who jump from here to here. But what I'm telling you is most people down here, they don't have the right words at the right time to help you get up this mountain. Now, here's the deal. When you get here, as I said before, and you stay here too long, my job is to give you the right what? Push. Words to get you up the mountain. Now, here's the motherfucking deal. These motherfuckers down here, they don't know what the fuck it takes to get you up the rest of the fucking mountain. So when they hear me talk, they say, oh, he shouldn't talk like that. He shouldn't say shit like that. Fuck you. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You have no fucking clue or any business to comment on that fucking area of fucking expertise. Because you haven't done it, you don't know what the fuck it takes. Because more often than not, behind the curtain is not where you fucking exist. You're not even fucking allowed back there. And most elite level practices, they don't even allow you in. I've never recorded a fucking elite level practice in here, have I? No. Never! You all, you all would whine and cry if you really saw what the fuck it takes to be that goddamn good. If you really saw what it takes to have a dojo just a fucking 15 people and four of those motherfuckers in there are national champs. And everybody else medals, and everybody's on the national roster, except for the new people that just walk in the door. The winning percentage we had at the Junior Olympics, at the Junior Olympics, was the best in the what? Country. Better than any other, any other dojo. The, the winning ratio that we had, how many people did we have? About eight. Eight people. How many medals did we take home? More than way more than eight. 
It had to be about 16, 16 or 18 medals. Now, once, my job is to help you once you get here. I encourage you when you get here, and then when you stay too long, my job is to tell you this isn't what? It's not good, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. I tell you, this is great. You did a great job. So you ever notice some days I come in here and I give you a foot to the ass, right? Yeah. And some days I come in here and I, walk, I give you a hug, don't I? And I tell you how good you, how, how good you are, don't I? How, and how well you've done. Yes. Correct? Because, because you're, you're improving. You're getting better. Like today, Rufus went hard with you today, didn't he? Really hard, didn't he? Yes. You know why? Because you're improving. I was hard on you in the beginning, wasn't I? Not as hard now, am I? No, because you're improving. It. It's not time for me to push you again right now. Because you're 10. So we back off. Let you go through on the Disney cruise. Go see President Obama. Travel, do your thing. We had a hard summer though, right? Nice and easy, nice and smooth. And then we're gonna increase again. My job is to get you from here, and then when you get here, now when you get here, how does that feel? Good. That feels good. Feels good. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. How many people are there? Not, Not as not many as the. Nah, these people that watch you go up there, how do they feel? But they act like they're what for you? Happy. Here's what hurts. What hurts is that there are some people in your family who act like they're happy for you. But deep down inside, they're jealous of what you've done, what you've accomplished, and you and you've had the resources that they didn't have when they were coming up, and they say to themselves, "If I would have had those resources, I could have been X, Y, Z too." And they may be telling the truth. And what they do is they want to go out and they want to sabotage you so that you're no better than they are. And sometimes they're not even doing it on purpose. The people down here, some of them are helping, some of them are hurting. But the people down here have to inspire you, which means, can I hold on to a dream? Is a dream a tangible thing? It's an intangible thing. Does a dream exist in the physical realm or does it exist in the spiritual realm? It exists in the spiritual realm. So if I have to take a dream that I have and gift it to you, I have to in what? Inspire you with the dream. So your dream literally is my dream for what? Yeah. But we end up having the same what? So, some people say, I don't know why you push your kids that hard. That's your fucking dream. That's not their dream. Every fucking dream that a child has is somebody else's fucking dream. There are no new dreams. Energy or matter cannot be created nor destroyed, which means that a dream goes here Throw it back. Then it goes here. Throw it back. Then it goes here. Throw it back. Dreams go everywhere. Am I the only person that's had an Olympic dream? No. Many people have had Olympic dreams. Some people have gone to the Olympics and some haven't. But they've all had Olympic what? Dreams. So yes, it, it, is, it is your dream at first. Your dream with the right words inspires the practitioner. 
Just like those people who desire for their children to become doctors, they speak to them doctor language. They give them doctor talk. They provide doctor resources. They give doctor exercises. They give the math. They give the science. They give the chemistry. They, they provide them with, with days where they can go with a friend who's a doctor, talk to other doctors. They put doctors in front of their faces so they see doctors all the time. Yeah, but that's your dream for your kid to be a doctor. You're goddamn right it is. And I'm going to put them in the best position to encourage them and inspire them to become a what? Doctor. A doctor. What do I talk about you all becoming here every day? A what? Say it. Doctor. A doctor. Was, was becoming a doctor my dream? Yes. yes. But I'm also giving you the right words to what? Inspire, Inspire who? This is the key. And even if you don't become a doctor, at least you'd be higher than you were initially supposed to go. Because the bottom line is this. Everybody doesn't reach their goal. So the key to life itself is it in the goal or is it in the, the climb? It's in the what? The climb. The climb. The climb must be done with personal integrity, with high morals, good deportment. The climb must be done honestly, truthfully. Who do you have to be truthful to? Yourself. Yourself. Because when you get up here and your legs are tired and you get right here, guess who's around? Just yourself. Just you. That's why you hear the phrase, it's lonely at the what? Because it is. But if you don't start thinking like that, you're not going to get there. And thinking ends in I-N-G, which means it's a processing thing. You can't be a lone wolf down here because you won't make it. Because remember, there are some people down here who are for you and some people who aren't. And you need some of those people to do what? Inspire you. Inspire you. So you can't disassociate yourself from these people down here. Even though internally you have to believe I am better than some of the people down here. You have to move your weather down. And you gotta find, and you gotta find while you're walking this path, you gotta find the people who are trying to walk it with you. With the understanding that as you walk the path with some of these people, you're gonna have to let some of them what? Go. Because you have to get a little bit what? Lighter. Lighter. Because you can't carry everybody. That's why I gave you all the speech before about leaving people home. Because it, it's a practice that you have to go through leaving people home. It's a hard thing to leave people home. But in this journey, you've got to learn how to leave people home. No matter how much you love them and no matter how much you like them. Because everybody can't go. Moses walked all those people across the desert. And he didn't get into the promised land. Because that land wasn't his particular promise. What he was supposed to do is decline. He wasn't meant to be at the top. And that's okay. Because there's some people they do is they walk back and forth up this mountain. They never get here. Ever. Because that's not what they're supposed to do and that's not where they're supposed to go. They are guides. Their job is to help you along the way. Sometimes you see them. Sometimes you don't. 
And you need to understand that those guides are actually more important than your friends and your family with respect to your now understand this. This is a compartmentalized discussion about this thing. That doesn't mean your family is your family. It doesn't mean your friends aren't your friends. That means there's going to be a time in your life, you're either you're 9 or 13 or 16 or 22 or 25 or 40, when you're going to have to make some hard decisions about who's going to be around and who's not. It's tough. You think Gabby Douglas' mom wanted to send her off to live with her coach? No. No. She missed her kid's childhood, didn't she? But she wanted to. I don't even know if she wanted to. Because let me tell you something. When you start going up this mountain, it's not a, it's not a want to thing. Because the goal doesn't give a fuck about if you want to or not. When you go to college, they give you the curriculum in order for you to graduate. And the dean, uh, the college, the board of trustees, they don't give a fuck if you want to do the class or not do that. Yeah. Those are the classes that you need to take in order to do what? In order to graduate, in order to get the goal of the degree. So whether you want to study or whether you don't want to study, that's your business. The bottom line is the shit needs to get done. And winners do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. I will end with this, because we have to go, and I took up a lot of your time, and I appreciate your time. This is a tiring process. Tiring. Your legs are burning, and you're headed up this mountain. Understand that the pain is not due to the walking. What does it say? If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. And that is how you make it up the hill. Have a great day. That was a long one.